All right, here we go, Ganache battle. Let's do this. I see, I, I, I don't know what voice to give him. I, did I give him a voice before? I see this is quite a situation we're faced with. Yes, and I'm sorry to say that it is only a situation for which there is only one remedy. Escape from Earth. Oh, God. This is where Rosie's gonna say her bullshit. We, we will carry as many humans as we can aboard our starship. That's the least we can do. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm dreading her lines. I will remain behind if it means one more human can be carried to safety. I will do the same. A noble thought. That just won't work. We can't fit enough humans on our ship to make much difference. But you are right. God, she's gonna say it. She's gonna say her bullshit. Oh God, oh God. In that case, how about this? We use dynamic technology to build an even bigger ship. We will call it Project Now and upload every last person onto it. Now is not the time for Bible jokes, Rosie. I hope you get crucified and burned. I'm sorry, but no amount of technology is going to make a ship big enough to carry every human. Besides, there's not enough time. Ganesh will be here before you know it. Okay, then. You can use that ray gun thingy that turned me into a vow. Okay, then. You can use that ray gun thingy that turned me into a vow and to turn everyone into mice. Then we can fit everyone into this ship and we go call it Project Squeakabs. Ugh. Um, yes, but it would still be very difficult to fit everyone onto the ship. Fine then! We'll just have to attack and Ash head on and destroy him! Is that her idea? Yeah. We appreciate your enthusiasm, but that is the most impossible idea yet. Dude, he's a literally a super easy final boss. Like, for one, she's finally saying something reasonable. For thousands of years, my people researched ways to defeat the monster Ganesh. Who did that there is no weapon capable of slaying? Are you serious? You must have hired some pretty bad people. It's gonna, who are going to be the people behind the desk? Chris Chan and Chess Chris Chan? Ganesh will eat this planet. There is nothing that we can do. There's nothing that can be done. With all due respect, your majesty, there is a way to defeat Ganesh. Whoa, what are you talking about, K Professor Sada? Pokemon ripped you off. They ripped off your style. You didn't deserve this, man. I spent a long time in that crashed Dynarian spaceship with its Ganache tissue sample and experimental data. And I realized that while every part of Ganache is essentially a living weapon, it can't live without the coordination of its three brains. And before I secured myself in stone sleep, I pinpointed exactly where the beast were in the beast of his brains are. With your teleportation technology, it should be possible to attack and defeat Ganesh's three brains. And it's not a very hard fight. Like, I bothered. They, how could they not realize this sooner? Did they even try? Did they even try? Seems like a pretty easy idea for me. But how? We don't have any missiles or guns or anything. But we do have some powerful muscle behind us. Oh my god. Do you mean Chuck Norris? What? Are you being the Fibrosaurus? Are you saying that we can defeat the nation of Fossil Battle? Uh, Fossil Battle. CK95, you are the most accomplished fossil fighter there is. We must ask you to fight Ganache. CK95, please! Let me know when you are ready to fight, and I will teleport you inside Ganache. Oh wait, they really give you some free time. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Save and continue. Oh, I can't just walk up. I guess I have to, um, talk. I can't even come close to saying how sorry I am that I came to this. But you can do this, you can five. There's no one in the universe that I'd rather have fighting for me. The fate of Earth... The fate of Earth hanging on the outcome of a fossil battle. CK95, you're the only one who can do it. Are you sure? I, there's probably other guys who could do it. CK95, the future of Earth and all life upon it has been placed upon your shoulders. I'm sorry, son. You're not my father. Don't call me son. It's an enormous responsibility, but we believe you can handle it. No. 
now we have to ask the pink Nazi, the last one around. What do you think? Now when you see Kid any fire, you'll do this and you'll make it look easy. Now go get him. I'll be waiting here for when you get back. Alright, dude, let's go. Ganache is, an Ganache is unbelievably powerful. This will likely be the hardest fight of your life. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you prepared to face Ganache in a battle? What happens if I say no? With the stakes so high, you should only enter a battle when you're absolutely certain that you're ready. Unbelievably powerful. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Understood. Good luck, CK95. Prepare to be teleported to Ganesh. I don't know if I should bring my supporter along for the last fight, considering they can kind of fuck them all up. I should bring Kota, I don't know. Wait! Wait. Oh, God. No, it's which one of them do you want as your wife? I don't want either, please. Can, can we just... Can we just, uh, sit Duna alone in a room with... And then and throw Rosie into the pits of hell. I'm going to! I can't let you go alone, CK95! I would also like to go. In case of emergency, it would be safer to have some support. However, the teleporter can only send one additional person. CK95, which waifu do you choose? Fine, I have to choose a second one. Why is Rosie the top choice? She doesn't deserve to do anything. You'd only bring her along so she could die. Thank you, CK95. I want to stand with you in this battle. She's pissed. Are you ready? I'm about to activate the teleporter. She's, she's having a hysterical freak out. Like the Sia Autism movie. Good, good luck. Is he bothered by Rosie's shenanigans? CK95. Together, we will protect Earth and your people. We're almost at the Knuckles takes Sonic and Tails to the wrong place. It's too dark to see anything, but I think we made up the squishy ground, the moist atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Yes, I think we've arrived at our destination, inside the mouth of Ganesh. And that is great. Great sound effect, too. He wanted his own cry. Come on, man. Man, we're so tiny. But he's not big enough. He's more like the size of a department store, I guess. You know, like Sam's Club? He's like the size of Sam's Club. He can't eat a planet. It's just bullshit! According to Dr. Dickens, Ganesh's three brains are located in the monster's mouth. If we can destroy those brains, Ganesh will lose control of its energy and explode! Oh, yeah! You must be stronger now than ever. Every part of Ganesh is a living weapon and its brains will be formidable. Huh. Unknown voice! Screech! Screech! Let's say unknown voice. Do they get a thing both And it's in its own color, that's interesting. I think the brains may have alerted have been alerted to our presence. Seeker 95, I know you can win. For the future of Earth and the preservation of humankind.